In this video, I'll show you how to build your own robotic hand using simple materials for a science or engineering project. Before we talk about robotic hands, let's talk a bit about the human hand. Your hands are amazing. They can easily adapt to pick up a wide variety of objects like this pen, this coffee mug, and this apple without even having to think about it that hard. You don't consciously have to think about exactly how much you need to bend each finger to pick up the different objects. It turns out that building a robotic hand that's as versatile as the human hand is incredibly difficult. Scientists and engineers have been trying for decades, and we can build robotic grippers that are good at picking up one specific object, but building one that's versatile and can pick up many different shape objects easily is very hard. In this video, I'll show you how to build a simple robotic hand at home. However, the hand I'll show you how to build isn't that strong, so you probably won't be picking up any apples or coffee mugs. You'll want to stick with lightweight objects like pom-poms, corks, or ping-pong balls. Since this is an engineering project, you don't have to use the exact same materials or follow the exact design that I'll show you in this video. You can make your own modifications or use different materials to try and change or improve the hand. A key part of the design is using straws and string to make the fingers. You'll cut a notch in the straw to create a joint, just like the knuckles in your fingers. The string acts like a tendon. When you pull on it, it causes the joint to bend. Just like when your muscles pull on the tendons in your hand, they cause your fingers to bend. So next, I'll show you how to do this. Start by cutting at least one notch in a straw. Be careful not to cut too far into the straw because then it might break. But if you don't cut far enough, it might not bend easily. So you'll have to experiment with the depth of your notch. You want to make sure that you can bend the straw easily, but that it will spring back to a straight position when you release it. You can try using plant-based or biodegradable straws to be more environmentally friendly, but again, make sure they bend and then spring back into place without breaking. If you want, you can add more than one joint so the finger bends in multiple locations. This is all up to you since it's part of your design. However, your design doesn't have to exactly mimic the human hand. For example, instead of lining the joints up, you can offset them from each other, so that way, when you pull the string, the straw will curl sort of like an octopus tentacle. This is the point in your design where you should think about what type of objects you want to pick up, what type of fingers you'll need, and how many fingers you'll need to be able to grasp the objects. Once you've decided on a design for your fingers and cut all the notches, it's time for the tricky part. You need to tie some string to a needle and then poke a hole just above the topmost joint in the straw with the needle. Be careful not to poke it too close to the joint because you don't want the straw to break. Press the needle all the way through the hole and then you need to thread the string through so it comes out the bottom of the straw. This can be difficult to do just with your hands so you can use a tool like some tweezers or very small needle nose pliers to help push the needle all the way through the hole and then pull it down through the straw. If you hold the straw vertically, eventually the weight of the needle should help pull the string through. You can also grab onto the string and help pull it through the hole using the tweezers. Eventually, you want the needle to come all the way down out the bottom of the straw. Once the needle is out the bottom, tie a knot in the other end of the string so you don't pull it all the way through the hole. Practice pulling on the string and you should see your finger bend. Now you can repeat this process for all of your other fingers. Once you've finished the fingers, it's time to build the rest of your hand and the supporting structure. Just remember that this is an engineering design project, so you don't have to use the exact same materials I'm showing here. But for example, you can take your strings, thread them through a cardboard tube, and then attach your straws to the top of the tube so when you pull on the string, it makes the fingers bend. And here I have my completed gripper with two straws taped to the end of the tube. There are still many different design decisions you can make. For example, in the design I showed at the beginning of the video, I taped the straws to a small plastic cup instead of directly to the tube. This spreads the fingers out at more of an angle. I've also tied all three strings to this paper clip, which allows me to activate all three fingers at once. For the other design, I left the strings separate, which allows me to control the fingers independently. You might find, when trying to pick up a smooth object like a ping pong ball, that the straws are too slippery. So you can also experiment with other things to improve their grip and add more friction, for example, by wrapping the straws in rubber bands or another material. You can even motorize your robotic hand using something called a servo motor. For instructions for this, how to build one of these hands just for fun, 
and how to build one for a science project, check out the links in the description of this video. To browse over a thousand other fun hands-on science and engineering projects and find one that fits your interests, visit us online at www.sciencebuddies.org.